And let's get back now to that report from News Nation correspondent Joe Khalil in Washington, D.C. He has a look at what's next for the stimulus package and how lawmakers on both sides plan to move forward. The president has asked Congress to amend the large stimulus package and uh, spending bill. No matter what happens with that, however, there are a lot of lawmakers on both sides of the aisle, and that also includes President-elect Joe Biden, who are saying that in the next year, uh, there's going to have to be another stimulus package, and work has already begun on it. This bill is just the first step, a down payment, in addressing the crisis the crises, more than one that we're in. On the heels of Congress passing a $900 billion COVID relief package, President-elect Joe Biden says lawmakers should prepare to act again. Congress did its job this week. And I can and I must ask them to do it again next year. Well, we already have, to be perfectly honest with you. Republican Tom Reed says negotiating another round of relief has already started on some measures that didn't make it into the bill. But, he says, the state of the pandemic should dictate what comes next. Where we're at with the vaccine distribution, what the status uh, of COVID-19 is uh, months down the road, and also what the economic condition uh, of the country is. Many Republicans and Democrats agree the relief measures that just passed are temporary. Many say Congress must do more. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi sent a dear colleague letter saying there's more work to be done and that her party is, quote, ready for the next step. This is an emergency provision, isn't it? Republican Senator Mitt Romney also says the $900 billion COVID relief package is only meant to address short-term immediate needs. We're looking not just at what we're going to do long-term for the country and stimulating the economy and so forth. We have people hurting right now. We have an emergency. I don't think we should prescribe what should happen yeah. next, but we need to get started recognizing you know, what economists are saying and what might be the, uh, the next thing that we should be looking at. But it took nearly nine months of stalled negotiations for Congress to find a compromise on COVID relief. Congresswoman Abigail Spanberger says there are lessons to be learned for the next negotiation. You think it's going to be easier to do this again if you have to do another round? Of Related to COVID? Yeah. Uh, I, you know, I hope that we'll follow the same framework that we did this time, which is not argue over dollar amounts, but in fact, focus on programs. Now, remember, a lot of lawmakers say that this package that they've just voted on extends help for about three months. And important to note that it took about eight and a half months just to get here, negotiating back and forth. Uh, I think lawmakers on both sides are hoping that the next round of negotiations, whenever they actually begin in earnest, don't take that long to get relief to the American people. In Washington, Joe Khalil, News Nation.